please excuse how I haven't changed out of my robe yet today. This thing is so comfortable, like I don't even want to change into real clothes. I'm about to change though, into comfies, so kind of like real clothes, but not really. But welcome back to another video. I am putting on some earrings and I'm so excited about these because I pre-ordered them and I didn't even realize that I pre-ordered them when I originally purchased them. So I got these like really pretty statement earrings from Heaven Mayhem and I ordered them the first week of January and they just came in and it's like the first week of February. So I didn't even realize I pre-ordered them until I got an email after I purchased them saying, thank you for your pre-order. And I was like, what? So I'm so excited that they're in. I got the mini knot. I thought the bigger knot would be way too big. I have smaller, like a smaller lobe on my ear and I already have three piercings on it and since I do have a smaller lobe my piercings are a little bit closer together so that way I could fit more earrings and I usually wear a lot of daintier earrings sometimes I do wear like thicker style hoops but it doesn't ever look too crowded but I know wearing this will cover up my second hole for sure so I'm so excited about these I feel like I need to look in a mirror here is what they look like. It definitely covers my second hole, but you can kind of see my third. I think they look so cute, so I'll link them. I just keep all my earrings in this like little organizer in my Alex drawer. And I it comes with multiple of these. It's so funny. I actually keep like things that aren't earrings in here too. Like my air tag is in here. But it just fits in my Alex drawer. So it came in like a set of four. This is another one that I use for like necklaces. Can't really tell, but it just fits in my Alex drawer. Not perfectly in the Alex drawer, but because there's room on the sides. I put my like bracelets in here. And then it comes with like a ring and earring one that is more for studs and rings. And then it also comes with a top. So if you're, if you wanna just keep it as like a box on like a dresser or a table or something, it all stacks on top of each other and then it comes with a lid but i just put them in the drawers because i just prefer to have like everything laid out in the drawer anyways i don't think we're really doing anything today we're kind of debating on going to like the ucf basketball game which is where we went to college with the, which would be around four and then we're probably going to cook dinner at home and then tomorrow i have my friend's birthday brunch her birthday is actually today but her brunch is tomorrow so i'm excited about that and yeah but no plans for today i'm just gonna put on some some comfies and then if we decide to go to the basketball game then i'll change into like real clothes <laughs> Of course the lighting is absolutely terrible, but I needed to get like a like a bag and stuff from Target for Maya's gift for her brunch tomorrow. So I just got like a little bag. It's close to Valentine's Day. So they had a lot of just like Valentine's Day little bags and I thought this one was cute. And then just like a, a couple other things to throw in with like her gift. I always love doing like a collective thing for friends and like for gifts and so I just got I have like two things upstairs that I already have for her but I just like got her a bunch of little things to go with those things just to make it like a little bit more fun of course Starbucks gift card um I got her this loops face mask it's the um rejuvenating mask so this one and then I got her this Casaluna candle I got her the clarity one because I know she's just kind of um at this we're all kind of at this point in our lives where we're trying to kind of figure ourselves out and figure life out workout careers just everything out and I just hope this year brings her a lot of clarity so when I saw it it kind of just spoke to me I was like wow maybe I should get this to her we just got coffee last um Sunday and She's just kind of, you know, we're kind of just at the point in our lives where we're like, okay, like what are, like what's our plan? Like what are we doing? Trying to solidify just everything. So those are some like other little things that I got. So with her, I also got myself a pack of gum. I'm like chewing it right now. So I hope I'm not being annoying with it. I know people can 
just like smack gum and it's annoying. Christian and I literally just sat on the couch and um, watched the basketball game. We were gonna go to the game, but it was like 3.30 and we just decided to stay back and watch the game at home. I'm gonna go upstairs. We're gonna just cook an easy Trader Joe's meal for dinner. Just wanted to check in, share the little things from Target. That's about it. I think I'm gonna shower early. It's seven o'clock. I went to bed at like 9.45 last night. I woke up at eight this morning. I'm just like sleep deprived. I'm really trying to make a conscious effort to, to like lower my cortisol. I feel like I've been in fight or flight mode for like a majority of my life. And I feel like I'm constantly like go, go, go and rushing to do the next thing. And I'm really trying to just like regulate my nervous system and lower my cortisol. If you guys have any tips on how you lower your cortisol or regulate your nervous system i try and drink lemon balm tea before bed to help regulate my nervous system i've been dunking my face in ice water in the morning so if you didn't know dunking your face in ice water actually has the same effect as almost like an ice plunge for your whole body it stimulates your vagus nerve which puts your body into like the parasympathetic mode which kind of slows down your heart rate regulates your breathing and just like allows your body to like calm down and get out of that fight or flight high cortisol state so i've been really trying to incorporate that into my routine breathing i've been i really like i don't like the box method of breathing where you like breathe in for four hold for four exhale for four pause for four i like the four seven eight breathing method so where you breathe in for four hold for seven exhale for eight that one I really like and it really works for me so I've been doing that um, I heard legs up the wall which I've been trying to do but you can only like there's only so many hours in the day so just leave your tips on what you do if you have any in the comments um, I really love this community and being able to ask you guys questions definitely let me know if you have any tips or anything to help with that I've just been really trying to be mindful of that and mindful of like when I eat I tend to eat really fast and I don't like chew my food and I think that's also like being with Christian he eats really fast and I almost like have to like tell myself slow down like he can eat fast he can do whatever he wants but like you don't have to try and keep up so yeah I've just been kind of fighting with like inflammation and um just like feeling like I'm definitely in like fight or flight constantly and I feel like it's been like that for a while I feel like I rush through daily activities constantly so if you guys have any tips definitely leave them in the comments down below yeah I would really love to know anything that you're incorporating to help you if you're focusing on that or anything so definitely leave your tips in the comments but I'm gonna go upstairs shower cook dinner get ready for bed i just wanted to share my haul even though it's probably not exciting making my nightly tea this is what i've been doing before bed i'm gonna sip on this and then get in the shower so i've been drinking lemon balm tea before bed for a while i wish i did this every single night but sometimes i just get lazy and i don't feel like making this but this calms the central nervous system and also helps with digestion and i've been mixing it recently with peppermint because peppermint calms the digestive system so your food can actually digest in your digestive tract so i've been mixing these together i don't know if you can hear christian so these are the two that i'm gonna be drinking that i have been mixing together for the past couple of nights and then I try to always drink my tea through a straw. I got these shorter glass straws for coffee mugs like this that are shorter for hot coffee and hot tea so it helps protect my teeth so it just doesn't stain as easily. And then I always use it if I drink hot lemon water. So I can link these. I got them off Amazon. They came in a pack. They're just a little bit. Here's like the regular length of a straw. So any straw works. 
but I just got these little ones. I've had them for a while, actually. I think like a couple of years, at least. quickly getting dressed I just quickly kind of went over my hair my hair holds so well second day with curls like I literally only have to hold it for like a couple of seconds and it looks like this so I have to keep like brushing through it a little bit trying to figure out an outfit the weather is terrible should be clearing up actually but it says that there's a 74% chance of rain and there was a giant band of weather. Look at this giant band of weather that just went over us. So I think the weather is about to get a little bit better. It's like 67 degrees. It says there's a 74% chance of rain. So I'm thinking, thinking shorts, like a white button up jean jacket maybe some booties maybe some booties and i need a chair to get up in the closet and maybe some booties these are so old i think i've had these for close to 10 years i just don't want them to get ruined with the weather i think this is what i'll probably end up going with but i'm gonna try it all on it could change once i put it on but i'll show you the final fit We got home a couple hours ago from Maya's birthday festivities. We got Greek food for dinner, got a chicken pita. I'm about to start eating and then I need to meal prep. But we went to Santiago's Bodega for Maya's brunch and it was so good and such a good deal. And if you live in the Orlando area, you have to check out Santiago's for brunch. They do a set brunch menu during a specific period of time and you get to pick from the whole entire menu. You can order one of everything on the menu if you wanted, two of everything, three of everything, as much food as you want for a set price. And they even have like mimosas, a couple other drinks like sangria and like house wines, unlimited. And also you can obviously purchase specialty drinks if you're into that, but very, very good. If you like tapas, I think it's great for like a birthday or even just like a day date since it's a brunch. I'm gonna eat dinner and then meal prep, shower, get ready mm -hmm. for another work week. Okay, I just got out of the shower and I'm about to do my skincare. I'm sipping on my peppermint and lemon balm tea. And I wanted to go ahead and end off this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life. It's probably a short one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna drink my tea, do my skincare, get in bed and get up for another work week. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.